Wrapping up our red cell disorders segment, uh, just a couple of words on a few topics. Hereditary hemochromatosis, iron overload, right? This is primary iron overload, not like our patient with sickle cell who has repeated transfusions over decades and developed secondary. Here, there's, this is actually a, an inherited genetic defect, autosomal recessive, um, more commonly in Caucasians. Five in 1,000 Caucasians were homozygous for this defect. The gene to be aware of, the big one, is the C282Y gene of the HFE. And basically what happens here is this inherited defect leads to um, modification of iron absorption. And basically it enhances iron absorption from your GI tract. So your body's pulling in way more iron from that cheeseburger than it's supposed to be. And over the years, that iron deposits in organs and uh, can lead to problems. Hemochromatosis, iron overload can show up later in females because they're sort of auto treating the condition with their monthly menses. And so they may not develop iron overload until later compared to males. What kind of organ damage can you see? There's a lot that can happen here. Um, diabetes, bronzing of the skin, liver damage, which could lead to liver cirrhosis, cardiomyopathy, uh, joint problems, arthralgias, erectile dysfunction, a whole host of problems, it increased susceptibility to certain infections. Um, in the old days, we would say that these patients present with heart failure and liver cirrhosis. Thankfully, that almost never happens now because most people go to the doctor and get labs. And, um, and so now it's commonly picked up with vague sort of symptoms. So if you see a case where a patient maybe has new onset diabetes and some arthralgias and erectile dysfunction, and maybe a little bit of an elevation in their transaminases, you know, that's sort of this very, and it is very vague, constellation of signs and symptoms that you want to be able to at least think about, oh, hemochromatosis um, could be uh, a possibility here. If, they, if they're really nice to you, they'll tell you that they've been tanning even when they haven't been out in the sun, like bronzing of the skin. Um, but regardless, hemochromatosis. You want to make sure you screen family members so that you can identify and treat those before iron overload becomes a problem. You diagnose initially by checking an iron saturation. And if the iron saturation is elevated, you check a ferritin. And then if the ferritin is elevated, you confirm with genetic testing for these mutations, including the C282Y. Liver biopsies are done a lot less now than they used to be. You can usually make a diagnosis non-invasively. And even if you're suspecting hepatic iron overload, there's fancy new MRIs that can quantify uh, hepatic iron content. And so it can be used, but only in selected cases. And the treatment for hemochromatosis is therapeutic phlebotomy. Um, you take off the excess iron, and over time it may slow progression and prevent new organ damage. And then there's some general guidelines we give patients avoiding excessive alcohol intake and vitamin C supplements, which enhance iron absorption, as well as uncooked seafood that could lead to infections.